From funny questions to outrightly ridiculous answers, there have been times Steve Harvey couldn't hold back his laughter on Family Feud. We asked 100 women, name a kind of glass you can fit one of your breasts into. Who in the world thinks up these questions on Family Feud? Normal women don't go around fitting their breasts into glasses. Or like a uh, cup. A wine glass. A wine glass. Play. We're gonna play, We're gonna play. Let's go. Yeah, maybe you think it's quite amusing to imagine a woman fitting her breast into any other cup except a bra cup. The Mitchells are going first. All right, Reggie, glass. You can fit one of your breasts into. Like the the punch bowl, the glass Damn. punch bowl. <laughs> <laughs> punch bowl. Reggie is right, I suppose. Breasts come in different shapes and sizes, and hers might fit into a punch bowl. Reggie, we ask a hundred women now. A martini glass. Ouch. Sorry, Reggie. A martini glass is not one of the ridiculous places a woman might want to fit her breast into. I had only one strike, Ken. This gonna be good. A tumbler. A tumbler. Yes. Yeah. The board disagrees with Ken, and there goes another strike for the Mitchells. This is where we're gonna find out a lot about you, Willie, because mm -hmm. you're a really educated man, nuclear physics. This is gonna be a really good answer. Shot glass. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Willie's turn. Willie's answer leaves Steve and everyone reeling with laughter. How can a woman fit her breast into a shot glass? Yeah. Maybe Willie was right. Not all women have big breasts, and some could fit into a shot glass. Kathy, 100 women, two strikes. Be careful, Schmidt family. Can... A vase. A vase. A vase! <laughs> the Mitchells get their third strike, and the Schmidts are ready to steal their answers. Too bad. The women name a kind of glass you can fit one of your breasts into. We're a beer drinking family, so a beer glass, beer mug. A... <laughs> it's not surprising that Schmidt's got their answer right, of course. Germans love their beer and beer glasses. Name an activity that brings men closer together. Loretta. Sports. <laughs> we found right. There's certainly no activity that brings men together much more than sports does, so the Barthleys are playing first. Yolanda? Church. Nah, Yolanda, most men don't go to church. Check with your local church for the stats. Dante. Dominoes. A good hood answer. Okay. <laughs> Here comes the epic Steve Harvey laughter. Shunter's answer is as ambiguous as it is hilarious. Maybe Steve thinks she meant Domino's Pizza? <laughs> Steve is stunned that Shunter's answer is on the board. Domino's is a type of game, not pizza. Miss Carolyn, name an activity that brings men closer together. We were drinking. With Carolyn's answer, the Barthleys just have one more answer to go and they'll win. That bring men closer together. Steve, we're gonna say strip club! <laughs> Tosha appeared confident in her answer, but somehow she earned the Barthleys a second strike. Two strikes. If it's not there, the other family can steal and win the game. Talking about women. Well, family, here we go. That's it. A third strike for the Barthley family. Over to the Walkers. One answer, one answer only. Name an activity that brings men closer together. Eating. The last answer is a hard nut to crack for everyone, including the Walkers. Four. Who would have imagined? That's a bit over the top. Name someone Minnie Mouse might call if she found out Mickey Mouse cheated on her. Bugs Bunny. Bugs. <laughs> 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 
from Walt Disney to Warner Brothers, that's got to be one great crossover. Steve cracks up. He sees no connection between the characters. Donald Duck. <laughs> the Hendersons are going first. Boy, somebody Minnie Mouse might call. She found out Mickey cheated on her. I know she's telling her girl Daisy about it. Yeah. Oh. Katie, somebody Mickey Mouse, Minnie Mouse might call. She found out Mickey cheated on her. Goofy! <laughs> the question basically tests your knowledge of the Mickey Mouse cartoon characters, and the Hendersons are doing well so far. Uh, Terry? Uh, Mortimer Mouse. <laughs> no, Terry, Mickey Mouse was originally Mortimer Mouse, a strike for the family. <laughs> Only got one strike. A Loretta cow? <laughs> <laughs> There's no character like that in Mickey Mouse. Sorry, Jess. You got it. Hey, Till. You tell me who you think she called. Just go ahead. Say it, Till. Mighty Mouse? Yes. Yes! <laughs> Mighty Mouse sounds reasonable, but the board disagrees with Tom. A third strike for the Hendersons. Steve, we gonna go with Cinderella. Yeah. Omar is audacious with her answer. Come on, Cinderella. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, I tell you what, if that's I tell you what, if that's on the board, I'm going what? home. It's... <laughs> Typical of Steve to lose it over extremely amusing answers, he goes hysterical with laughter. The board agrees with Steve, and the Hendersons win. Number five. Number five. Right Number four. Pluto. It makes sense for Minnie to tell her lawyer and Mickey's pet Pluto of the cheating incident. Finish this expression. Make what? The questions appear vague. You can make over a million things. Pie. Make pie. Uh, love. Oh. Of course, it's way better to make love than pies, so the Surubar family takes the lead. David, make what? Make dinner. Uh, Could it be that David is hungry? Off goes the buzzer. To make what? The kids behave. <laughs> Maybe the kids are giving Nancy so much trouble at home. Steve finds her answer funny. Okafar family can still finish this expression, make what? Money! <laughs> make what? Make up. The Shrubar family picks up again, but Kevin lands them the third strike. Ouch. Family, here's your chance. Finish this expression, make what? Babies. <laughs> it's not surprising the Okafor said babies. Someone has got a visible baby bump over there. <laughs> the shrew bars win eventually. Two. <laughs> Last answers seemed obvious, but then again, many things could be made. <laughs> 